All right. Well, um, I'm here with the Nation of Johnny K. Sup, people? Um, you're probably wondering why I made a 3.5 or whatever the fuck I'm gonna call this. Um, because as as you all know, I talked about the apology video Super Sonic did, and um, I. In the comments, Nation of Johnny K gave me some interesting information and wanted to get it out there to the people. So, so um, Nation of Johnny K, why don't you tell me how it all started? All right. Well, first, Phoenix was telling me about the entire situation we geek and everything and the drama itself. I was talking to Supersonic 407 in a Skype call, and we both felt like the entire situation was stupid. We felt that both sides were really stupid, but... It kind of didn't sound like that. So, so this was after Geek's first video and the door ran, right? I think this was like before Geek even did the video. This was like when Geek was going around telling people, "Oh, I'm gonna make a video about this and I'm gonna defend Joshua." Pretty uh, much. Oh yeah, right, right. I remember that. Yeah. So me and SS did the video, and around the time, the drama was still kind of was. It was dead, but it was bringing back up by Geek. So we basically made the video saying, okay, all this stuff is stupid, and it's all ridiculous. And so we got tons of comments about it. Um, a lot of people were disappointed in us. A lot of people agreed with us. People disagreed with us. And so that was that. The next day, I get back home, and I get pulled into a call with the Dread Domaru, and SS47 in the call. It was me... Super Sonic 407, Dread Damaru, um, I think Demonic Redemption was in the call too, okay. and somebody else. So basically, most of the people that were involved in the um, the drama. Were yeah. Were basically yeah. in the Skype call. Exactly. Um, people that weren't there, Ariana wasn't there, Phoenix wasn't there. It was just Dread, Demonic Redemption, I think Heartless, me, and and Ryan. But would you assume that Ariana was? If she was there, she wouldn't have made things better, wouldn't she have? I think Ariana would have just been silent throughout the entire thing. Yeah, it was, it was basically Dread talking for her. It was, it was Dread being overly emotional and flipping his lid for no damn reason. Ah, I see. Because um, apparently he was going through a mental breakdown, and you could tell in that that call that he was going through a mental breakdown. He basically went through the entire call questioning me and Ryan about why we made the video, and we told him why. And he was like, you didn't get your facts straight. You didn't hear the entire story. All you did was make matters worse. And calling me a kid, and he was calling me a kid. He said I was immature for making the video, and Demonic Redemption was like semi-agreeing with him. He was like, yeah, you kind of did. I was kind of a dick move on you guys' part. And that was all he said. And, but and, it, and his bland voice, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> but it was just dread for the entire portion of that call, bitching, and I use that term loosely, bitching me and uh, Ryan out, calling us immature and said we were horrible for making that video because all we did was make matters worse. Would you happen and to remember any, like, specific sentences said in that call? Just, oh, just so um, I can get more information out there. He's like, well, kid... Yes, and I'm calling you a kid because that's basically how you two were acting in that video. You were acting like a kid. You only made matters worse. All you did was bring more trolls to Ariana. I was going to compliment suicide because of all this drama. And so basically, he's asking you guys to make an apology video by calling you names and basically doing the exact opposite of what you should do. He was telling us that we should, yeah, he was basically saying we should make an apology video all the while while saying that we were making, all the while while he was going on a tangent saying how we made matters worse. And, you know, for a while I actually did feel kind of bad because I was thinking about it. Ryan just went out and did it because basically he, his advan his emotions got the better of him because um, Dredd was taking advantage of his emotions and basically got guilt tripped into making an apology video. Uh-huh, I see. So base and the and the and the, and the whole Dredge or Mama call was basically unreleased, unrecorded. No, cause and I hate the fact that I didn't record it, cause I swear to God, if I did record that, I would have put it up on YouTube and just showed people how ridiculous he was acting. And I know that that would have been. And at that time, I was kind of thinking about it, but I didn't do it because I was kind of trying to follow somebody saying what happens on this Skype stays on Skype, but. That's you know, but that's kind of past. You know, yeah, it, it after, kinda, 
I mean, thanks to Ariana and Dread, that's kind of past the point. <laughs> exactly. No it's, return. It's past it. And so Ryan made the apology video. Dread forgave him and then kept saying how I was yet to be forgiven. I was like, fuck you. So, and, so basically they went into another Skype call. Is that what you're saying? No, they didn't go into a Skype call with me. It was just him leaving messages on my... On no, 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 no. I mean for the apology video. Oh, for the apology video, it was just Ryan. It was Ryan, Shiana Forever, and Phoenix Angel Gal in the call. And if you listen to that call, you could honestly hear that Ariana was just okay. She was like, "There was no problem with that. You guys were just stating your opinion." And you know, even you know, Phoenix was like, "You didn't do anything wrong. All you did was state your opinion. You may not have the full story, but you didn't do like nothing wrong." So basically, it was all staged. It was just Dread wanting an apology video because he because it was because Dread wanted it. Ariana honestly didn't care, and neither did Phoenix. Huh. I see. Oh well, that that I think um kind of I don't I don't know what to think. Think of that. I mean, by the by the sound of the video of them of Phoenix and Ariana, it's like it was sh it's uh, it's clearly show that they honestly were like, okay, you didn't have to apologize. I mean, you just stated an opinion. They said that many times in the video. Ah, I, yeah, I noticed that. I thought that was just staged. I, I honestly... no, that literally wasn't staged. That was like because I listened to the because I, I kind of listened to the recording before he put it up. So. Um, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about? Anything else you'd like to get out there about um, the whole apology video or anything? Um, I guess the only thing I say is like around the time Ryan was asking me through Skype, should I put this apology video up? And I didn't know because around that time I was kind of like, I kind of was feeling bad. I hate to say it, but I did kind of feel bad about it, and I didn't know. Well, that's but, okay. That's okay. I mean, uh, yeah, but you, if I would, you, you you were going through a guilt trip. Yeah, but but when I finally snapped out of it, because but if I finally snapped out of it, I could have told him don't put the apology video because you know you were, you and me both got pulled into a guilt trip. I think what snapped me out of it was Phoenix apologizing to me. Ah, so Phoenix apologized to you. Yeah, Phoenix apologized to me because she was like, it's bas it's it's basically my fault because I brought you into this by talking about it and talking about what Geek was doing. So, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. A first-person perspective on the whole apology video thing. And as you can see, this is pretty damn depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, my God. And we're going to end it off right there. All right. Um, thanks for doing this, Loud. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all.